Another month, another Halo video, except this time I'm not talking about Halo Infinite or why classic Halo still works. This time I'm talking about a game that I feel really deserves a sequel of some type. Halo 3 ODST. This is a game that is now over 10 years old. It released back in 2009, and it received a lot of shit back in the day when it first released because of the fact that it was very overpriced. It's nothing more than a Halo 3 expansion pack, albeit a very good one, that was released for $60 just like any other AAA title. With the reason why being that Microsoft understandably saw just how big of a game Halo 3 was at the time, so to continue milking the success of that game, they decided to have it released as a full game instead of $20 like it should have been. But when you look past just how overpriced it was, beyond that, the game itself is very good. Personally, it's not one of my favorite games in the series, but Halo 3 ODST is a damn solid one, and there's definitely a lot of reasons as to why I think it deserves a sequel of some type, but with that being said, let's talk about it. So one of the reasons why I really like the game is because of just how unique it is. It's nothing like the other Halo games. Sure, you have games like Halo Wars 1 and 2, but those are both spin-off titles. Halo 3 ODST, on the other hand, isn't a spin-off title in the same vein as those two. Again, it's more of an expansion pack than it is just a normal spin-off game. And the content within it is a part of what really makes it as good as it is. Like, if you're just talking about the campaign itself, sure, the majority of it is your usual action-packed Halo levels with all the different weapons and whatnot that you can get, while easily the best and most standout missions in the game that really make it as different as it is from all the other Halo titles is the rookie levels, because in these levels, you don't have a team to back you up. You don't have a huge arsenal of weapons to work with here. It's just you as a vulnerable ODST, just exploring this semi-open world city known as New Mombasa, just trying to survive, and along the way as you're trying to regroup with your team, you also come along all sorts of clues and hints as to how the city turned out the way it is while you're playing it, through the means of like, little audio logs that you can discover, which give you little tidbits of story of what the city was like before the Covenant attacked it, and along the way, beyond just all this, you have the ODST gameplay where, sure, you're more powerful than just a normal marine, but you're still not powerful like a Spartan is. You got vulnerabilities, you've got to rely on stealth a hell of a lot more. You gotta be a bit more strategic about what you're doing. You can't just go in guns blazing. You you really gotta think, okay, what weapons am I gonna use to approach this group of enemies over here? But not even just including gameplay, what really helps these levels stand out even more is just the atmosphere. It's just very calming and relaxing. It's very atmospheric, it's very chilled and laid back. The jazzy music playing in the background also really adding to it and Something I gotta mention is, the soundtrack in this game is easily one of, if not the absolute best soundtrack in the entire Halo series. I just want to put that out there for those that are very ignorant and unaware of the truth, but I digress. Overall, it's just a very unique and different type of experience that really makes it help stand out from the rest of the crowd. And it's the one of the reasons why, I, well, m another reason why I really have a lot of respect for this game. And even though I'm not someone who played it right from the start, I first played it back in 2015 when it re-released for the Master Chief Collection. Just going off of that alone, I really enjoyed it. But I don't think that that's enough for an ODST experience. I think that what 343 should do at some point, or maybe they should have another developer do at some point, is make a proper sequel of some type to this game. Of course, you can't have the exact same cast of characters considering certain events that happen in the comic books, but that doesn't mean that you can't have another group of ODSTs and play as them instead. And have a fully fleshed out sequel with not just another solid campaign, but the return of ODST Firefight. Again, I, I only first played the game back in 2015, so I never got to experience ODST Firefight. So for me personally, having another firefight in that style is something I personally would really love to see. As well as a proper ODST multiplayer that isn't just Halo 3's standard multiplayer, but with a few new maps slapped on to make it seem like it's worth more than it actually is. No, I mean a proper sequel with new content and everything. And that's what I really want to talk about in this video. So for the campaign side of things, really all I want is more of that new Mombasa experience, but expanded upon. So a bigger city of some type actual rain in the level since we no longer have those limitations, especially with the next generation about to start soon. That soothing jazzy experience where 
there isn't much at all to really disturb you. It's just you, this vulnerable ODST soldier that you're playing as, just trying to survive. That's really all I want for a sequel to ODST. 343 or whoever else is developing this game can do whatever the hell they want with any other aspect of the game. All I really want is that same relaxed and chilled experience that we got while playing as the rookie. With any action-packed levels, again, do whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. I just want more rookie levels, and I'm satisfied. Now, for the multiplayer side of things, I mean, aside from maybe a few differences here and there, I think that for the most part, it'd just be another Halo multiplayer, but with a few key differences, such as how the matches start. For ODST multiplayer, I imagine that you'd start off the matches in the same way that you do in the Titanfall games, so you're dropped in, but instead of being dropped in by aircraft, with ODST, you'd be dropped in by drop pods, as ODSTs usually are in missions. I think that'd be a cool little detail to have, and from there, I think the match would play out as any other match of a Halo game with any game mode, except you're not as strong or as powerful as a Spartan, so you'd be a bit more limited. You know, you couldn't jump as high, you couldn't melee as hard, you couldn't dual wield since, unlike games like Reach and Onwards, there'd be an actual excuse to not have dual wield, which is why Infinite should in fact have dual wield. 343, I'm gonna be watching you with that, and uh, if you don't have dual wield, then I'm gonna cry. I don't want to cry, but I will if you don't, so put in dual wield. Thank you. I imagine that the time to kill would also be a little bit shorter since you wouldn't have Spartan armor to protect you, and seeing as ODSTs can't jump as high as Spartans can, this would definitely affect the verticality of maps that you play on, so that could definitely be a, a change with possible potential behind it to see how it would work out. Maybe it would work well with a game like this, maybe it wouldn't. Really, you never know till you try, but I would definitely love to see them try. But outside of that, Another thing that they could definitely do is ODST armor customization in the style of Reach. So right there pretty much confirms that this game will never happen, but I'm still going to talk about it anyways because this is something I would love to see and something I will forever have in my mind, meaning that these ideas you can never take from me. But anyway, one other idea I think would be really cool is once you reach a certain level in the multiplayer, that allows you the ability to unlock certain armors from Halo 3 ODST. So, like, maybe you get to the highest level in the game, or in the multiplayer in this case, and you're given the ability to wear the rookie's armor in multiplayer matches. But yeah, that's all I can think of for the multiplayer. Um, as for Firefight, just bring back Firefight from the original ODST, but give it better graphics and new maps. Again, I never got to play the original, so... This would be the perfect opportunity for someone like me who's never played that firefight to get to experience it, but with today's technology and, you know, the usual hubba bubba of technology and uh, next-gen systems. I, I definitely think that a game like this could be amazing. And, again, I would love to see it happen someday. It probably won't be right now. It'll probably be quite a while if this were to ever happen, but I'm gonna hold out hope that we will get it at some point. Especially because... There's just so much that you can do with the Halo universe. There's so much more to it than just Master Chief. And having a fully fleshed out ODST game or just any other type of Halo game aside from something that focuses on the Chief, it'd be awesome, you know? There's a lot that you can do with this universe. And I think that even with how long Halo's been around for, there haven't been enough games really to truly go all out on storylines with other characters and such. And I really do hope that Infinite is the start of truly going above and beyond what we've gotten from the series thus far. Now, of course, Infinite needs to actually be good, and I I'm gonna hold out hope, you know, especially now that we know that we're gonna finally get gameplay of some type in July. If Infinite turns out good like I'm hoping that it is, and I'm sure that all of you are hoping that it is too, then from there, 343 can go wild. I just hope that one of the games that they make post-Infinite is in fact a ODST sequel of some type. And uh, yeah, that's why I believe that Halo 3 ODST deserves a sequel. It should be made. Like, there's nothing else for me to say. Just make another ODST game. And that's it. But that's all I wanted to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for future content coming soon, and I will see you all next time. But until then, I'm out. Later.